Hello and welcome. My name is Joltron. This is Game Dev Tycoon. This is going to be the first episode in a series of little tutorials, guides, what have you, of just how to get good reviews on your games. This is actually quite an in-depth thing, the whole mechanics behind it. I mean, essentially, that is the whole game in a nutshell, is getting your reviews. So we're going to go straight into it and take a look at it. We're just going to make a space strategy oh I keep clicking on the wrong thing space strategy and we'll call it Mars and do it on our engine which has 2d graphics so we can get straight to these sliders here all right now these sliders slider bars there are two separate sections here as you can see time allocation and the actual slider bars now depending on where you have the slider bar that changes your time allocation and I will show you something real quick your time allocation will not change if you have equal amounts distributed into your slider bars and by this I mean as you can see right now there are they are all split equally if I turn these all up all the way they're still split equally so changing these from half to hundred percent if they're all the same will not make any difference at this stage alright so for the strategy what we're going to do here is turn up the engine about 40%, turn up the gameplay all the way, turn stories and quests down below 20%. Actually, I'm going to turn that engine back up a little bit. We'll go with that. Now, these slider bars contribute to your game quality, and your game quality is put up against a set quality rating, which you need to beat in order to get high uh, review reviews, review points for it. That was a little bit confusing. Let's try to reword that. So, your slider bars contribute to your game quality. And you can get an idea of your quality by designing technology here. There is a ratio that you want to try to achieve for each genre of design to technology. And normally, one will be higher, design will be higher, or technology will be higher, depending on which genre you are going for. So, since this is strategy, we are going to want technology s slightly higher, I believe. I forget the exact ratio you want to go for. We can get into that later. However, right now I'm just covering these slider bars generically. So we'll keep with these. Okay, so these slider bars. Now generally what you want to do is every genre will have one topic. Dialogue, level design, artificial intelligence being a topic. Each genre will have one topic. That needs to be below 20%, and it will have about three to six topics that need to be above 40%, and it'll have one to three topics which need to be above 20%, however, below 40%. Uh, it's somewhat confusing, but once you get into it, you'll start seeing what I mean. And by 20%, I mean on these slider bars. If I want something to be up all the way, I will put it up to 100% on the slider bar. It just makes it easier for me to do all the percentages and continually work with this. If I say I set this one at 20% and it doesn't work so well, then my next game I can adjust that slightly because I know I already set it at 20%. So we're going to go with the dialogues here down again. We're going to keep that up, try to keep it above 20%. We already have one that is below 20% and artificial intelligence we're going to try to put that above 20% but below 40% we'll try to use that one see how it works and we'll keep the level design real high on there Alrighty, so we'll see how that one goes now as few, there is a wiki page which I'll have in the description and it has wonderful lovely graphs. Somebody took all the information from the game on how to get good reviews and they put it all together with a lot of information. So if you do want to check that out, feel free to check that out in the description. However, I will be covering most of it in these tutorial videos for you. So you can just check these out as well if you want to. Alrighty, so, strategy, world design, now we have one, two, we had two that were up, 
above 40%, so we're going to get 4 above 40%, and that gives us more than 3 above 40%, and then we're going to have this one, sound, going to turn that right about there, slightly below 40 and over 20. And we will see how that works. Now what my game is competing against, it's not competing against games in the industry, there's not a bunch of other games I compete against. The reviewers aren't comparing my game to other companies' games, they're simply comparing it to my own. So a good game quality may not get good reviews if your previous games had a higher quality. So by that I mean your games need to achieve a higher quality than your previous games or the average of your previous games in order to score higher. Oh shoot, and I just released it with a bug. So that will be detrimental to my quality right there. That will take it down a little bit. Alrighty, we are going to see how the scores went. And that will be the end of the slider bar tutorial for you. Here's our reviews. Now if my game scored higher quality than my previous ones, it will score higher. So it looks like the quality was slightly lower than my previous games because this is scoring lower. It's still above 5, so that's okay. This means it is a okay quality game. And it will still produce some profit. Alrighty, so that is about the basics for your slider tutorials. Just to recap here what I said, your sliders contribute to the quality of your game. However, your game quality does not contribute all 100% to your review scores. Remember, your game quality is being put up against your previous game qualities. So at the beginning of the game, when you have no other games to be tested against, it has a set game quality that you need to achieve or get higher then. And if you never do, don't be discouraged because this game will allow you to score a 9.5 on a game even if you just continuously play it and pump out horrible games it will still give you that 9.5. So even if you suck at this game and you continue playing it you will still get a hit and you will still be able to enjoy about half of the content in this game. Alright well that about sums it up for the slider bars quick beginner tutorial. I hope this helped you out. If it did go ahead and leave a like. If it didn't, go ahead and let me know what you still don't understand. If this was too confusing, please let me know. I'm still starting out with these beginner tutorials, so any advice is greatly appreciated. All right, my name is Joltron. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Uh.